So what did you make of the fight? Um, you know what? I, honestly, 100% honest, as soon as he went down, I said he's not going to get up. I didn't see him hit the ground. I didn't know how bad he was hurt. I knew he wasn't going to get up because I've seen it. I mean, I had 49 pro fights. I've never been on the floor. Never been injured. Never. None of the guys I fought been injured. Roy Jones. This guy, it's happened to him. It seems like 10 times. Like he's, Every time you see him, he's rolling around against against uh, Roy in the rematch. So, um, you know, it just it's almost like an expected thing. So you take it for what it's worth, but you've seen this from Bernard before. I literally, as soon as he hit the ground, I said he's not getting up. That's why you saw me in the corner. I had my head down because I knew the fight was over. You guys are very close, both of the teams. You know Bernard, you know Nazim very well. Yeah. Yeah. How's the first phone call going to be when you guys talk to each other to congratulate? I mean, you know, I was a little surprised. I mean, I mean, for me, I'm not one of these guys like the mean look and you get the ring and you're mean. You know, Nazim, I've known Nazim before, way before he got famous. I knew, I've been to Nazim's house in North Philadelphia. 15 years ago. I've taken his sons out to the movies. I've taken his sons bowling. I've taken his sons go-kart riding. I know his nephews, the whole nine. So when he got here and he acted like he hardly knew me, and you know, I wanted to say, come on. Like, we're not fighting each other. We're not, we're not throwing hands here. Come on. Like, you know, I'm friendly. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you been? Let's talk. I want to talk about his sons because his sons got into parks and recently. I told him, I said, I've been in touch with your son, Tiger, repeatedly over the last few months, checking on, making sure they're okay. So, um, you know, I think that whole, you know, be mean to the other trainer, everything, you know, is, is kind of ridiculous. Speaking of which, you stepped in after uh, Emmanuel Stewart walked away, and nobody even considered you. They looked, they, they, they were shocked that Emmanuel Stewart won't be here. And how does it feel to be the victorious trainer tonight? Hey, it feels great, but but you know what? I know a million guys out there that are excellent trainers that, that none of you have ever heard of. Nazim, I knew Nazim was a good trainer in 1994. You guys didn't hear about him until three years ago. You know what I mean? So, so you know, don't underestimate somebody because you never heard of him, you've never seen him work, and you know that. And, 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 and by the flip side, there's a lot of trainers out there that people go, "Oh, that guy, oh, that guy's a great trainer." You go, "Why? You've never seen him in the gym. You've never been in the gym. You don't know what he tells the guys." So, there's no way to say. The results, you know, speak for themselves. Chad won both rounds. I was, was going to say, I mean, thank you. For many years, you've been. No rematch with Bernard ever. Ever is a very long time. I don't know what's going to happen. No rematch for right now. First of all, we got to find out what's wrong with him. <laughs> Hard work and dedication. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Until you're right behind you. Say what it is. You know, oh, yeah. That's why so, Gary, how are you feeling tonight? Spectacular. I had two great wins. You know, when, uh, it's a good night for me, it's a good night for Gary Shore Productions. Happy for my staff and happy for my fighters.